Hi there and welcome. In this video, we would be looking at how to install, configure, and deploy an umbrella virtual appliance, or in short, we call it a VA. The purpose of this virtual appliance installation is to act as a relay or a broker between the internal domain or systems that we have and the Cisco umbrella cloud. Now, there are several benefits associated to this virtual appliance based on the deployment that can include proper identification of internal hosts, user-based policy application, encryption and authentication of DNS requests, DNS security, DNS scripts, and the, and the list goes on. Now, if you want to learn more about Cisco Umbrella, we cover it in full-fledged course. Now, that is hosted on Udemy. Right up from the very basics of Cisco Umbrella, use cases, policies, best practices, different modes of deployment, some advanced configurations, application control, policy management, and various other features are fully in-depth covered through the course that is hosted up in Udemy. If you're interested, you can use the coupon code SECUREWIRE50 to avail a flat 50% discount while using the link in the description. Let's carry on with this current video. So in order to download the VA or the virtual appliance, you'd have to go uh, to deployments, sites and active directory. And if you see out here in the top right corner, download components. So there's a section for virtual appliance. Currently it's available only for uh, VMware ESXi 4.1 update 2 and higher. And the second one is for Hyper-V, that is for Windows servers 2008, R2, 12 and above. So uh, you can download these through this link. And for the credentials, you need to know your organization ID. As we discussed in the previous videos, it would be listed out here. So your password would be umbrella organization ID. So I have already downloaded this and kept ready for a deployment. Now let's hop over to ESXi and deploy our VA. So under virtual machines, I'll create, deploy a virtual machine. And uh, the downloaded machine, I'll just drag and drop here. The name we're gonna pick as umbrella VA1 and you would have another uh, virtual appliance which is a secondary uh, hosted on a separate ESX so you have proper redundancy however in this case we're gonna have only one for demonstration purposes I'm gonna go with the defaults make sure thin provision is set up power on automatically hit next make sure this looks good and hit finish now while this takes uh, time for deployment a couple of things to note is that you really cannot do snapshots and all the other jazz uh, related to the uh, OVAs uh, sorry the VAs uh, the second thing is that you have to have a secondary virtual appliance deployed on a separate ESX server uh, that way, if one of the ESX blows away, uh, you don't have uh, both of the VAs going down at the same time. So you have proper um, uh, resilient environment in that event. So it's importing and running the process of import. Let's give it a couple of more minutes. Uh, it's successful oh uh, the deployment is successful I'm gonna click on the virtual machine and try to see what's happening out here so uh, it does not take really um, much time to deploy so it's pretty simple and Cisco says it's a lightweight machine so you can have a look around here it's hardly using 
200 megabytes of memory so by default it shows you this configuration panel and it's going through some status checks and slowly it um, slowly some of these services are becoming green which indicates that uh, it's doing some tests and making sure the connectivity is up so everything is set up now let's if you refer to the bottom uh, pane out here control B is for configuration and that's what we're gonna do right now so I'll hit control B and it says uh, are you sure you want to en enable the config mode the default password for this VA is umbrella in the org ID and I'll hit yes and I'm gonna make sure that I have U M B R E L L A my org ID is two six four two six four two three six eight I enter the current password again two six four two three six eight and it's prompting to enter a new password So you got to make sure that you know the username that is VM admin. The first thing that I'm going to do is change the name. So I'm going to say config VA name umbrella VA1. So it has changed the name. Um, let's see what other options are available in config. I'm config VA I'm gonna hit question mark and hit enter and it says um, I need to provide uh, the IP address which is which it took as um, DHCP I want to change that to static so let's quickly view the config that is there so I'll say the command would be config VA show the name is set up the local DNS is not set up um, the name of the adapter is ENS160 so I'm gonna change the IP address as well because it's a DHCP assigned address and I want to change this to 192.168.0.100 so the command would be config VA Just hit question mark to get the details. So it's config VA interface. Interface name is ENS160. IP address it would be 192.168.0.100. net mask is 255.255.255.0 which is slash 24 and the gateway is 192.168.0.1 well, that looks looks good to me so interface is configured and I'm gonna say local DNS would be configure VA local DNS is 192.168.0.10 which is the domain controller and the internal DNS server for the internal network hit enter and looks good hit the up arrows a couple of times just to make sure the config is reflecting correctly so the local DNS is 0 0.10 
the IP address has been changed and SSH access is currently disabled so um, that's fine uh, hit exit Uh, this was the end of the video for setting up a virtual appliance. I hope it was very informative to you and I hope to see you in the next one. Till then, take care.